Reaction pouring in after the UT System Board of Regents announced this evening the sole finalist to become the next chancellor of the University of Texas System. Board members unanimously selected Admiral William McRaven, who is currently commander of the United States Special Operations Command. He might be best known for planning and orchestrating the operation that led to the death of September 11th mastermind Osama bin Laden. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis looks at the decision. I've been a Navy SEAL for 36 years. General William McRaven is in the history books for our country and is on the road to doing the same for the University of Texas. But changing the world can happen anywhere and anyone can do it. He inspired thousands from his commencement speech in May and his military legacy has paved the way to becoming the next chancellor of the university. I move that Admiral William H. McRaven be named as a sole finalist for the position of the Chancellor of the University of Texas System. The Board of Regents unanimously selected Admiral McRaven. They say they wanted a national and internationally respected leader and look forward to what he'll bring to the university. His passion for higher education, his passion for the state of Texas and for the children of Texas it is it's just so obvious. And While he doesn't have a higher education background, the regions don't believe that will be an issue for the UT grad. Our chancellors don't have to be experts in higher education, but they have to be great leaders and they have to facilitate the great education experts that we have on staff today. And what started here will indeed have changed the world for the better. With a long list of accomplishments already, Regents believe he'll only add to that resume once officially named Chancellor of the University. And that was our Amanda Brandeis reporting. Now that a finalist has been chosen, Regents have to wait 21 days now to confirm him as Chancellor. And by the way, a lot of power and responsibility in this position. As of the end of May, UT institutions report more than 11,000 endowments worth $7.7 .7 billion, supporting everything from scholarships to faculty positions and specific programs. And reaction has been pouring in tonight from politicians across Texas. And every single statement we have received here has been positive. We also wanted to reach out to the main student alumni organization at UT Austin, the Texas X's. A public affairs committee member there summed it up well. It's a great fit. I mean, you've got a Longhorn, you have a distinguished alum, four-star admiral. He's run large organizations, impeccable integrity, and now he's a YouTube sensation. He's the whole package. We've heard the resume about Admiral McRaven and his impressive words at the UT Austin commencement address back in May, but. What about those who have known him most of his life? KXAN's Aaron Cargyle got to speak with a childhood friend and current Washington Post reporter Karen Tumulty to gain some insight. Well, I wanted to track you down because you have known Admiral McRaven since the fifth grade when you guys grew up together in San Antonio. That's right. Um, we were both military brats, and so our paths crossed several times. We were in fifth and sixth grade together in San Antonio, then again in San Antonio in ninth and 10th grade together. And then we also went to the University of Texas at the same time. We were, in fact, we're both journalism students. What was your reaction when you learned Admiral McRaven was a finalist for this position? This is a guy who has managed an, a huge organization and made some really, really difficult decisions in his life. Um, so I think the university could not be in better hands, the entire system. Of course, many people are saying this is an unusual fit because he doesn't have a history in state politics or in the academic world. But he does have, you know, again, a very, very strong management background. Uh, and also, you know, he makes really good decisions as, as you know, not just with the, the raid that killed Osama bin Laden, but really throughout his career. So, have you spoken with Admiral McRaven since this process began? I have not. Um, he, I, in fact, I'd sent him a couple of emails and he's kind of gone radio silent. I did know that, though, at one point we spoke about what he wanted to do in the long run, and he had mentioned even then that his, he and his wife, who was his college sweetheart, uh, were at, even then thinking about moving back to Austin. As for the man Admiral McRaven is taking over for, Chancellor Francisco Cigarroa will not be far away. Dr. Cigarroa is heading to San Antonio 
will be head of the Pediatric Transplant Surgery Division at the University of Texas Health Science Center. He announced in February he was staying on as chancellor until a replacement is hired. Named to the post in 2009, Dr. Sigueroa became the first Hispanic to be named chancellor of the UT system. Official documents show his current salary as chancellor, all told, is $750,000. Looking ahead, Admiral McRaven will probably be looking at a political tug of war that has put the whole UT system in a bad light recently. We're talking about this month's compromise between the Board of Regents, Chancellor Sigueroa, and UT Austin President Bill Powers. Under pressure, Powers announced he will step down next June. McRaven will be instrumental in selecting Powers' replacement. Chancellor Sigueroa has publicly said there was tension and communications issues between both his office and Powers. Much of the tension surrounds the formal investigation into Regent Wallace Hall and the effort to potentially oust Powers from his job at UT Austin.